Okay, day 203, part 3. This is pickleball behind me. Shorter court, more people on the court. And that's the key of turnarounds of information on this channel, which is lots of me uh, summarizing the videos and all the great research you do, and then people turning it around and adding value to that metadata. So remember, if you have a link to an article, give me that key paragraph and add that into the metadata, especially with the people or entities that are involved. So it's like, okay, well, Andrew McCabe... Um, busted a Pakistani guy in Washington, D.C., and his name was Akbar, you know, as in Allah Akbar. And it was in the eastern quarter of uh, Virginia, and it was a spyware app called Stealthy Genie. And Stealthy Genie allowed people to uh, infect phones. They only need to get the phone for a couple of minutes. That would be really easy if somebody's sleeping. Get the phone for a couple minutes, put the Stealthy Genie on there, and get all their messages. And it worked by hacking Bluetooth. And for some reason, I kept thinking, it's the hack of Bluetooth. Uh, you have to get within 15 feet of the computer, and then it downloads all the messages. So that way, a person wouldn't see, if they're traveling, they wouldn't normally see uh, the um, syncing. They would put their phone on the desk, they'd plug in their phone to the, to the YouTube, or just put it down and charge it. And then they would walk away, and then they wouldn't see the screen go black, and the, the program waits for the screen to go black, and then it does all the syncing, so it doesn't show any uh, activity light on the, on the um, wireless radio uh, light, indicator light. So anyway, that is an example of, of one paragraph that you would take from the article, which somebody sent me, and put in the metadata, and bam, here we are down to the now Stealthy Genie. Now you might say, well, well, Andrew McCabe sounds like the hero here. He got Stealthy Genie, and he found out it was a Pakistani company, and he figured out it went all the way back to Lahore, Pakistan. And, uh, you know, he busted this guy, and it was just a great bust. Well, it's more fake crime. It's more Portland Christmas tree bomber. Because what he's doing is he's covering and providing deniability of how he got that information in the first place. If he's hacking for Podesta, and I think he's done it since 97 or 98, right in there, we'll have to look at the data, the BlackBerry data, you have to have a reason. Somebody says, oh, look at that. There's 20 years of, of messages from hundreds of different Blackberries. How did you get that, Andrew? Did you order a wiretap like you did with Trump uh, and Flynn and, and uh, Carter uh, Page or whoever else they said they hacked? Uh, um, sessions? Or did you go through a foreign entity to get it, like the Wan Brothers? Did you do the wiretap that way? How did you do it? And he can't go, well, I didn't do it through FOIA or through, a, through normal FBI paperwork. I mean, I did it through a foreign intelligence agency. Uh, I did it through Pakistani ISI, and they have these Wan Brothers right down over the street over here from FBI headquarters. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't say that either. I need to say something else. So I'm saying it's Stealthy Genie. And I think the Stealthy Genie software is going to be the same software that the Awan brothers use to install on the phones. I don't even think the Awans need to be that great at this point. They just need to be trained in, into how to gas the house and get in there for a minute. You can train almost any operative to do that. Just get in there, get on the phone, and load the phone, and then go. I think you just plug in a little uh, mini DIN device, five, five seconds, five, maybe 10, 20 seconds to download the app to the phone, and you're out of there. So you could... You could infect anybody's BlackBerry once they were out there. Now the only thing is you probably have a problem with secure phones. So um, you want to encourage as many people to use unsecure BlackBerries. So now you got all the judges, everybody on Wall Street, uh, etc. Especially in the early 2000s when BlackBerry was dominant. 2000 to 2008 when Hillary was in the Senate, completely dominant. But then you have to, as BlackBerry Blackberries kind of go down in popularity. Steve Jobs comes out and, and tells everybody, hey, do you realize all your messages are going to India? I think they're going to a data center in Chennai. You should check that out. And oh, by the way, Indian intelligence says that they're looking at all your messages. If you're not an enterprise customer, uh, you might want to check that out. So all of a sudden, Blackberry sales just plummets dramatically, especially in the business community where people said, oh my gosh, all my messages have been intercepted. So uh, now you need to come up with a way of forcing people now to use Blackberries. And the way you force that is all the Cheryl Mills emails, all the Podesta emails I posted, which said, you know, give America, um, a, let Obama have his link to America. That Blackberry is his link to America in 2008, and uh, all this uh, public pressure to get Obama's uh, forced phone. You're going to find Obama is not involved here. He doesn't create the phone. Uh, Hillary and Podesta 
and McCabe are creating the phone, not Obama. So that's who's doing the spying, not the person who's the victim of the spying. So anyway, I won't go over that again. Um, so everybody says, oh, why don't you sue McCabe? You know, uh, you have a, you have accumulated all this evidence. He's obviously harassing you since the Portland Christmas tree bomber case. Why don't you bring a lawsuit against McCabe? And I am interested in that. I talked to a lawyer this morning. Uh, I don't really want to go into the discovery and pull the witnesses list and so forth until uh, we get a little bit further down this Blackberry trail here. Um, but if you have been a victim or you thought you got hacked and you're in the Washington DC area and you had a uh, stealthy genie on your phone, it'd be good to just send an email on the, um, on vote or, or however, get it to the vote folks and they'll, they'll light it up, you know, as far as, um, world, go worldwide with everybody who's been hacked. I think diplomats all over the world you're going to find are going to be hacked with this uh, genie code and there's going to be some guy some techie out there who's going to know how to make an image of the blackberry phone and all the files 120 different folders that the blackberry had somebody's doing a great rundown of all the blackberry folders and as the special messaging especially with the blackberry enterprise servers services and then what they call bbm which is going to be the secure BlackBerry messaging, this pin-to-pin -pin type idea. But anyway, somebody's going to come up with a t way of taking images, and they're going to be able to produce in object code the exact image for uh, Stealthy Genie. Once we get Stealthy Genie, we reverse compile the Stealthy Genie. Now we have the source code. Now we can compare the source code to the fingerprints uh, to all the other hacks when we start seeing all these other hacks come out. So I think that, uh, mark my words on that, there's going to be a lot of nice footprints there. It's going to be the same exact, I predict this, it's going to be the same exact code with a few modifications maybe for, you know, welcome to Stealthy Genie, you know, that kind of thing to, for the cover story. But for the, for the actual guts of the code, the working part of the code, the business end of the code, it's going to be that same way. And I think it's this 15-foot thing. And the reason I say that is, when, you, when you're sitting there and you'd be sitting with your screen on and you'd all of a sudden see it start sinking to your desktop, you'd start saying, what the heck's going on? Why am I sinking? S-Y, <laughs> N-K, not like you're on a boat. Uh, why am I sinking? So having it on the, f when they put the phone down is brilliant because you wait for the screen to turn off. That's a 30 second uh, battery saver. Now the battery saver, now it's gonna go and copy all the messages and sync to the laptop or whatever. And then it's Im immediately available to the internet once it syncs to the laptop. So uh, that's uh, on the lawsuit uh, as well. Um, I'm also thinking about a third amendment challenge. Now, most, even the lawyers ask me, well, what's the third amendment? Well, it's the standing armies. You know, we had the first and everybody knows the second. But the Third Amendment, no standing armies. You can't have a private army against the United States of America. Well, that, in the United States of America, that, well, that's exactly what DynCorp set up through these security agencies, these DHS fusion centers, coordinate by, on a state-by-state -state and large city basis, they coordinate a group of about 7,000 private contractors. They're mainly disguised as, um, or not disguised, but mainly they're security firms by day and they're prowlers by night. Uh, so they would be the perfect team to go in to a house and, and install this uh, Stealthy Genie type software, that, that type of thing, very light surveillance work. But um, that is constitute, those aren't sworn officers, they're not, they're not uh, police officers, they don't know anything about the Constitution, they only do as they're trained, and that's what I want to go after, a third, third Amendment challenge. Now, um, me and McCabe and all that, I'm waiting for a few more footprints uh, from the BlackBerry uh, discovery. Uh, to, to go after that, but um, I, I'm, I'm closing in on who, what, when, where, how, and why, and, and, and that's really what I want to do in the pleading, so there's not a lot of, so the judge doesn't say, oh, this is a fishing uh, expedition. But the beautiful thing about McCabe is that he already has footprints out there in a modus operandi established of ordering the dossier up on Trump with, with the steel dossier, the PP dossier. He has the, he ordered up the wiretap on, on uh, Flynn, uh, Carter Page, I think Sessions. There's going to be others, maybe Manafort, maybe Cohen. Um, so we've got that. Plus we can go all the way back to the impeachment and look at those wiretaps and who ordered those wiretaps and everything in between. So there's going to be a, a plethora of evidence. All I have to do is connect the dots to the Portland Christmas tree bomber case and his other activities and just show. Um, and. And, and I'm going to add one thing, metadata. Metadata, again, is going to be the undoing of Andrew McCabe. The NGA has this geospatial data. And so you're going to see a pattern of vehicles, these little security teams that get their little surveillance, you know, um, uh, job to go 
whatever, let's say go put Stealthy Genie on somebody's phone, you're going to see all kinds of cars going in all kinds of directions, creating big moves, you know, car phones going off three blocks away, and you're going to see a car crash over here, and you're going to see an explosion down the street, everywhere but the place. So they call it big move covers a small move. You're going to see a whole bunch of things going on around these things. Seth Rich, any, any operation, you're going to see a whole bunch of diversionary things that are about three or four blocks away to take the... Um, to take the attention away and it's an old criminal trick i mean that's who who uh any a final sorry keep going um the oroville dam you know everyone said team rubicon isn't that going to be a you know uh david petraeus um spoils a war thing aren't they going to crack the dam once they buy all the 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 farms down at the bottom of the hill that have gold well of course i mean as soon as i saw team rubicon i think uh, somebody called me from northern california on oroville dam i said yeah, they're just, they're putting out all this great information about how Oroville Dam's about to crack. Your family's going to be wiped out. 100,000 people could be killed. You probably should sell now before the dam cracks because if you wait, if you wait till after the dam cracks, you're in trouble. And then I said, okay, federal funds are going to come in, rebuild the thing after all the, after all the uh, uh, property is transferred. Boy, this is a long one, but I had to get a lot out, a lot of great comments. Keep them coming. Remember, copy the key paragraph. That's all going to be metadata.